a light heavyweight title fight between John Jones and Merciless. Merciless making his way to the octagon, ready to compete for the title. He uses a lot of karate techniques in his mixed martial arts, Mike. He's got a lot of power in his punches and kicks, and he's very elusive on his feet. He's got especially dangerous counter strikes, so his game plan may be keeping his distance and waiting for an opening. Merciless, ready to throw down and take home the title. John Jones, set to enter the octagon and defend his UFC title. John Jones is a very powerful wrestler with some of the most ruthless elbow strikes we've ever seen. He is an unpredictable fighter on the feet, not afraid to throw crazy spitting, high risk shots, and he attacks from all kinds of angles. John Jones, ready to throw down and defend his title. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Tiago Merciless. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet four inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Merciless, John Jones. UFC 239 will feature the light heavyweight champion John Jones and the challenger Thiago Maheta Santos. I'm using Santos on Ultimate. Let's see if we can get anything going here. Of course, Santos is known for his wildness and power, but against Jones, you have to be a little bit, um, you have to be a little bit careful. You can't just rush in a ton. You, I mean, that's probably what Maheta might try, but also you can't. Just run wildly, wildly, wildly. You do have to get a little bit of timing down. I'm sure he'll try. Ooh, nice Superman punch. Hit with the jab. Step out of range. Those low kicks. That's a good strategy against Jones. You know, chuck those low kicks out there. He's He's got some thin legs. He could... Uh, might be able to get something off. It might, might, might pay dividends if it goes longer. Nice little left overhook. The goal is to punish Jones. We need to hurt him. We need to hurt him quick because Santos doesn't have the best cardio. Of course, I'm playing an ultimate simulation. Nice low kick. I like that combo. It's like a variant of the Jones, uh, the GSP Superman punch, Superman jab to a uh, low kick. Nice. We both we sort of traded shots to the body. Tries to go for the uh, the back kick, but it misses. Oh, hit him with a wheel kick ourselves. Nice little body shot. Then he tries to give her a body shot himself, so we can get him with a leg kick. Catches that. I'll take, maybe take him to the ground. And he reverses. Ooh, nice back fist, and then follows up with a low kick. Oh, 
front kick misses. That's okay. Not able to capitalise completely off of that um, missed kick. Rip the body a little bit. Got to avoid that kick. Flying knee. Misses though. Doesn't well. Doesn't completely land. So we can... There we go. A little bit of... Couple of hooks. A little bit of damage. Nice front kick. So let's work those legs again. To the body. Got to mix it up against Jones. Will kick. Misses. Little flurry to end the round. That's okay. Jones did a good job blocking all the strikes coming his way. Sometimes you need to mix in at least a threat of a takedown to open up your stand-up game. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. Right here we see that tremendous counter shot land. The beautiful Shandella Powell. We start round two. We've got to come out the gate swinging. Can't leave. Can't, can't let Jones get our timing down. We've got to rush. We've got to rush him a little bit. Give him something to think about. Oh, he's hitting us with though. He he's maybe has the same idea here. He's getting aggressive too. No, he was hit him with that hook. So we can get him with some high kicks. Nice front kick out the middle. Those low kicks may be paying dividends though. Got out of the way of that. Oh, nice duck. And then with the overhand. Doesn't land, but well, it gets blocked. Doesn't land clean. Front kick of his own. Punishing the body. Nice little counter there. Managed to follow it up with a hook as well. See if we can find an opening. Ah, he goes for his own front kick. There we go, landed ours. Oh, nice to the body. A little low kick doesn't really throw him off. It's okay. Get with the jab straight. Ooh. We should try and utilize, the, utilize that ducking hook to maybe duck under maybe his back fists. Ooh, ah, well, poor timing on that. Nice front kick. Ooh, well done. But we managed to just dodge out of range there. Avoid the, uh, avoid the high kick. That left overhook is really one of our best weapons. One of my best weapons, rather. I keep saying we. I guess it doesn't really matter. See if we can get a rock soon. I keep saying we, it's okay. He's backing up. Let's go on the let's go on the aggressive. I'll smell the finish. Of course you don't really want it. You don't want to completely empty your gas tank because it might not be it might not be enough, but you do you don't want to leave you don't want to give Jones a chance if you feel like he's starting to you know wobble a little bit or oh, he's going for a knee. He's getting quite wild here. Front kick. Ooh, well, he uh, managed to, uh, to to sway the uh, the right hook at the end, but that's a good round. Still three more rounds to go, so Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. 
And this was that nice counter. Just perfect movement here. Right here, we see that tremendous counter shot land. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? And we are Corner was telling me he can't take too much more damage, so let's see if we can close it out. Flying knee, though. Oh, that front kick's really doing damage. I want to try and land that that um, switch high kick. Of course, we've got to be careful. Can't just keep taking unanswered shots. Try to land something big, but it's going to take a little bit of setting up. Nice knee. He does block it, though. Let's go the way a little bit. There we go. There we go. Follow up the low kick. Of course, the low kicks are not Jagger's speciality. It's mostly just Capoeira. He loves his panic Capoeira, does uh, Santos. Nice hook to the body. See if we can set up a, a high kick. Back up a little bit, get some space. He's down! He's hurt! So we can finish it. Ah, managed to sprawl. I was pressing the uh, undisputed buttons. Out of oh, the 09 buttons. Trying to do a straight takedown. He's down! He's hurt! See if we can finish it! He catches the hammer fist! Oof. Side control. He's hurt! Oh, Santos is gassed. It's over. It's over. Thiago Santos is the middleweight, the light heavyweight champion. That you and I have seen in a long time. That was very, very nasty. We have a new UFC light heavyweight champion. Can we see it one more time? What a finish. Finishes off with hammer fists. That's such a Thiago Santos way to win, you know? Knocks him down and then follows up with heavy ground and pound. That's one thing Santos is very good at, and it's capitalizing when someone is rocked or hurt. Of course, how could we forget? He knocked out Jack Manson with less than 10 seconds to go in... I think it might have been round one or round two. He just went on the went on the attack, running up, you know, running after him, throwing hooks, then an uppercut drops him. Man, Santos is one of the best at that. Merciless wins the fight and becomes the new UFC champion. I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a while since I've made a video, um, but I really wanted to. I've been wanting to make this for a little while, and I thought it was a perfect time, you know? We're, we're still a little bit away from 239, but I've, the Santos Cafe has been done for a little while, and I've been itching to play because I've been in universe mode, which is AI versus AI, and yeah, I just thought that I would, uh, you know, give it a go, get it done, record it, and uh, yeah, as you can see there, look, I, I mean, Santos has a weakness, you know? His cardio is not, it's not great. It's not, it's not really going to hold up over five rounds if you're trying to throw uh, the output that Santos has in real life, so... You gotta really try and aim to finish with uh, Santos. But yeah, let me know who you think is gonna win the fight in real life. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care.